when Jesus Christ, God himself, came to the earth over 2,000 years ago, the devil took him to the highest mountain which, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world, which can only be possible if the entire world is flat. The devil showed him every kingdom and told, and told him, All of these kingdoms are mine, and I can give them to whoever I wish. All of these kingdoms I shall give you if you bow down and worship me. And Jesus told him, Back away, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord thy God only. And this is why we must reject this world. Because, you see, this world right now belongs to Satan. Satan had, 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 had already infiltrated all of the kingdoms 2,000 years ago. And just imagine how big his infiltration is today. Satan offered Jesus the whole world and everything in it. All the riches, all the pleasures, all the people, all the territory, all the advantages. And if Christ had accepted, Satan would have won forever. But Christ had a mission and he succeeded. Satan couldn't break him. And because he couldn't break him, that's why Jesus was crucified on the cross, to get rid of him. And because Satan couldn't, couldn't break him, this means that Jesus will be victorious in the battle of Armageddon, because he is the only person in history who Satan couldn't break. And because he couldn't break him, this means that God himself will be victorious in the end. Because his will was stronger than Satan's. The world is the way it is today because Satan rules it. We're in Satan's kingdom right now. And this is why we must reject this world and all the pleasures it offers us. We must reject it just like Christ did. Because if we, if we accept this world, we'll be accepting Satan's kingdom. This world is a fallen one, a corrupted one. If we shake hands with the world, we'll be shaking hands with the devil. And that's why we must reject this world, so we can reject Satan. But if we accept this world, we'll be shaking hands with the devil himself. The same te temptation Satan offered Christ, the kingdoms of the world and the world itself, as reality and reward and truth, the same thing Satan does today with every person. He offers them the world, this reality. And people have to either reject it or accept it.